The Festival of Lights, Diwali, has hit the cast of Mary to Medicine. We can only hope that it does what it's supposed to do, get rid of evil and bad spirits among the cast. However, we can already see some uprisings, so all we have to do is pray for peace. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today I will be discussing Married to Medicine, Season 9, Episode 1. The episode begins with Dr. Simone and Dr. Jackie finally trying to come together to resolve some of the issues they've been having for the past two years. It was bad, it was ugly, none of them benefited from the dispute. Simone admitted that she had to stop being petty. And for those of you who have watched the show, Simone has a PhD in petty. And Dr. Jackie had to come down from that throne which she built. She had to let loose of that ego, that pride, and come down from that throne to live among us. So I'm grateful that this is how the show opens. The ladies drive to Jackie's home and we see Curtis and Cecil. They are admiring a 1962 Gran Turiso. Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simona in her kitchen discussing a new treatment for women called the O shot. What they do is they remove blood from your body, they extract the plasma platelets and then inject that into female parts. Uh, evidently it's used to enhance or tweak a woman's ex sexual experience and evidently it looks like they both had it and uh, from the looks on their faces they are having a moment remembering that a moment in time based on what they say i'm gonna do my research and if i find anything out I'll let you know. Dr. Heavenly and her daughter Alora are discussing the work schedule for the business she purchased. Evidently, Alora does the marketing and social media part of the business and they talk about Alora's birthday party. Her parents give her a vehicle and now she was waiting on her father to go take her driving lesson. Alora prefers to have her father teach her how to drive rather than Heavenly. Quad comes through, Heavenly is talking about Contessa and telling Quad she's hurt that Contessa sort of ghosted her, no longer calls her and we all know why. Uh, Heavenly has been dragging Contessa and her husband on her YouTube channel and I mean, anyone quad purchased and it's renovating a gorgeous home. Uh, she and Heavenly are talking and Heavenly asked her whether she had a sponsor, meaning whether she had a man to sort of chip in with some bones to help her out. And Quad said, no, she doesn't need that. She can take care of herself. Additionally, Quad's life has changed her nephew, Mason, and her mom are now living with her. Mason's father died last year from some sort of heart complications. And Mason is having a issue getting over that. He's having some problems at school and the teacher believes that he's distracted, but he's really going through a process of grief. They all are, and a child's grade changes so dramatically. It's, a, it's an indication that something is going wrong. So I hope they get in front of that and get him the help that he needs, and that, that really all of them need to maybe go to someone who can help them. Anella and her husband build this beautiful home. It has been completed. They had a budget of uh, 1.5 million 
and unfortunately it went up to 2.5 million so somebody probably wasn't paying attention to the budget because that's a significant increase uh, for that home additionally it took about three years to be built and I'm sure that added to the cost and or it could have been the cost just went out of hand because of COVID. They have a housewarming and they are Hindus so the priest came through and they had a cow. And now his husband explains that in Indian culture the cow is considered sacred and is revered and they had a cow going through the house while the priest performed the Hindu blessing. Additionally, Anala um, said when she was showing the ladies her home that she blocked and received all of the furniture in the house, which was over $500,000. So that means that that 2.5 was spent solely for the house and the, the furnishings and furniture was not included in that budget. I have no idea what, what could have happened in that instance, but it's not my cheese. I tend to budget and I budget hard. Toya and her husband sold their dream home. You know that beautiful house we watched them build. And Tonya wants to tell us that one of the reasons why they sold it was the house wasn't big enough. The pool wasn't big enough. It didn't have a tennis court. So she decided that they should sell it and they're building another house they purchased another piece of property it looks like it's on the water and now they're building their second dream house so currently they're renting and um that's the story and i'm gonna stick to that <laughs> dr eugene gets home and he wants to decompress but Toya is shouting at the kids and he asked her why is the house so noisy and she responds that he's living in a black household and when you live in a black household people shout it's noisy get used to it then she asks them whether he wanted a, a white woman and his response was if she's quieter this is an active kind of love they have going on with each other i can appreciate that when i see it everyone is getting ready to go to the diwali party at the saja's home uh people are dressed up in saris the they have henna they have a cigar booth that the men enjoy they have the food. I see curry chicken. I see a whole lot of goodness. They have a DJ. Stuff is just running and flowing. Everyone is looking like they're having a good time. Everyone seems to be having a good time. Heavenly seems to be put out that other people choose to speak with his, her husband. She said she's not jealous she just wondering why it is that so many women want to get up and close with her beloved when asked whether he had female friends he said not really but when heavenly gave him a hard steer he said no he don't know he don't have any female friends he don't even know what a female is He's looking straight ahead. He's not even turning to the sun. So she doesn't even, so she can't catch any sort of subtle nuances or movement, sudden movement that she pick up on. Quad getting some henna, 
we see Carrie checking out the house. Everybody's looking at the house and commenting how beautiful it is. And Neela gives everyone a tour of her house and she tells the group that she was the one who furnished the home by blogging and all of the furniture was donated to her. So she was able to get over $500,000 worth of furniture in our house. That's pretty good. That's impressive. So everyone goes outside. The men kick back in the cigar lounge and they're talking about last year and the issues that came up with Cont Contessa and her husband. And thank God he, the husband said that all that was behind them there has been a change in the household and they credit that to counseling he said that in their confessional that they still argue however it's not a volatile situation because they both came out from that kind of household so that's what they see so that's how they're going to act out but counseling um, is able to sort of strip away and give people clarity about their behavior so they can turn another way. Most of us have said if we were raised in a toxic home that we refuse to be who daddy was or who mama was. But sometimes those ghosts follow us in our adulthood and sometimes we need professional help to first to understand and uncover that muck so that you so you you're now gonna manifest something different for your kids as they watch you live out your best self with the other half and i know i know that from personal experience so while they're enjoying the festivities quad goes to contessa and, and asks her about Heavenly and how she's feeling and she's letting her know that Heavenly is hurt because she's not interacting or calling her anymore and that oh maybe she can go talk with her. In fact Cord was trying to get Heavenly's attention so she and Contessa can have a conversation and Contessa said no she she's not willing to do that. Heavenly has shown who she is and her preference at this time would be, would be for them to be friendly rather than friends and I think that's a sound decision to make. Sometimes you just need to cut people off at the quick so you can live in a healthier space. I don't see Heavenly trying to do something different She's the same person we met nine seasons ago. If you see something is poisonous to your mental health and well-being and you still allow that person into your life, well, there are going to be consequences for that. And most of them is what you're going to be being. A choice has to be made, either good mental health or you continue on with the same. The choice is yours. That's all I have. This is going to be a good season, I can tell. Hopefully, we stay strapped in and locked down for the drama that will unfold because there will be drama. God bless you. And above all, enjoy your life. You can choose. Enjoy your life. Every piece of it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.